12 year old Vonna Marie Red was killed here in Red Oak last night. Her friends who are building this growing memorial say she lit up a room. She was very sweet, caring. Vanna Red had only lived in Red Oak for a few months. She was an amazing girl, yeah. I know that. She would always watch out for her little brothers. Now, the Iowa State Patrol is investigating the crash that killed Vanna Monday night. It's a more thorough, in-depth investigation that they're going to be doing, and that's why we're called in. Troopers say Red Oak Police Officer Reese Anderson was on the way to a fire call with his lights and sirens on. Uh, we've got an officer in a department that, uh, you know, they're grieving. They're, they, they feel terrible for the incident that just happened. Trooper Ryan DeVault says three police cruisers were on Broadway when Vanna ran into the path of Officer Anderson's car. Patience to everybody involved, you know, including the, the public, uh, you know, would be appreciated at this time. The superintendent of Red Oak Schools says grief counselors will be available to support students and staff throughout the week. Her smile, definitely. She, she always lit up the room. She, she really was so did. sweet. We miss her. We love her. Hope yeah. she's in a better place. Trooper DeVault says there are cameras in most patrol cars. They'll also be reviewing other video as they search for witnesses. Anything that could help explain the unimaginable to Vanna and her sister Gracie's friends. Gracie is like a part of my family and so is Vanna. And it's just horrible. It's sad. The Red Oak Police Chief tells us Officer Anderson had been on the force for two years. He's now on paid administrative leave. In Red Oak, Joey Safchik, KETV, Newswatch 7.